I've been studying the life and work of Roderick O'Connor for 40 years and one of the greatest joys is when you encounter a painting that has been as it were a sleeper that has not been on the market for a very long time. So I had the pleasure of encountering this picture um, for the very first time on the 16th of September in Dublin. Very quickly I realised it was a, a lost work and also an important one from O'Connor's later period when he was settled in Paris, largely working out of his studio at 102 Rue du Cherche Midi. It's Really a stunning composition with white china, some of it delftware. There's a, an apothecary's jar in the middle which supports a vase of flowers, which is painted with really consummate skill. The composition has been set up with all the skills of a, of a theatre designer in the recesses of O'Connor's studio. And his handling of the paint varies throughout the work from very, very subtle, such as in the mid-tones, the stems and leaves, of some of the flowers in the background right through to much more assertive marks done with a palette knife which you can see in the red and white roses. He worked in a, in a style that might be described as um, expressive realism. In some parts of the painting you can see much thicker paint, particularly the blooms themselves, and uh, also note the skill with which he's, uh, he's arranged the, f the fruit and the cucumber in the foreground, such as the cucumber actually on a diagonal leads the eye into the composition. And then the uh, glaring white of the vase or the jar uh, holding the flowers. So O'Connor was clearly very proud of this picture, otherwise he would not have decided to exhibit it at the Salon d'Automne in 1921.